what is up Madden 25 gamers welcome to our video today uh, I want to apologize for uh, this weekend's content it was a little bit under uh, what I would have liked it to be I had some videos that had to be taken down because of uh, whatever but it, it will be fixed I had just a lot of stuff going on this weekend uh, but hopefully that won't be an excuse in the weeks to come because uh, I am trying to get a little bit more organized and trying to have the videos a little bit better uh, more well done okay so with that in mind I would like to talk about today's video and we are going to be picking up where we left off and we are going to be talking about a defensive scheme of the week um, 2.0 and this is where we're going to get into the actual play breakdowns and stuff like that and so um, today's scheme comes from the nickel uh, do we have the 245 in here? I don't know if I do or not okay then we'll just do it from the nickel strong so today's scheme comes from the nickel strong and the base play um, is going to be the the sugar three C. Okay, that's our base play. Now, what I like about this play is it basically, if you leave it as is, it, it basically negates any run to the left side of the field. If you baseline and then just leave it, because there's no way that you can run into that. You have a blitzer over there, you have two linebackers stacked in the a gap, and you have a safety that's down in the box. So the, really, the only thing you have to worry about with this play is a excuse me is a run to the right is a run to the right and a quick throw uh, to the flat. But I'm willing to give that up as my base play. So that's the vulnerability. Now, one thing that most people like to do is they like to shift their linebackers to the right after they go strong. We do have some plays where we will be shifting our linebackers to the right, but I like, for some reason, guys, this year, the way the running game works, uh, it really is a little bit better to have those linebackers in the A-gap. Um, and, and one example here, let's take a look at this. So if we want to send pressure, say we want to send pressure off the left, or excuse me, off the right. Okay, You see how when we blitz them, they're going to come out they're not going to sit in the A gap. So that's interesting. That's just something, just a side note. Because we could sit in six here, but watch what happens. The, the, the right edge pressure should should get picked up, if I remember right. Yeah, you see how that right edge pressure gets picked up and it comes off the left? That's not a huge deal. And the reason I like this as a base play is because we get a better fill in the middle for the run. Now. You can go ahead and shift your linebackers to the right. It really won't matter uh, as far as the setup goes. But here's the setup for the play. We want to crash the defensive line down. We want a quarterback spy the defensive tackle over the left side. We want to take this guy right here, the right of screen defensive tackle, and man him up on the slot receiver. And then we want to take the right of screen defensive end, and we want to put him into a either a hook zone, a purple zone, or a flat zone, depending on what you like to call. Uh, I like putting him in a hook zone and then man a line and base a line and get that hook zone to kind of flare out a little bit. Um, and then another thing that I might do is maybe just drop Brown into a hook zone and do the same exact thing. And now I have kind of a cover to disguise look, and I can share the coverage a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more. Um, but anywho, this is just some some basic coverages uh, that you can do from here and uh, let's take a look at the pressure so we should get that left edge pressure you see that uh, left edge pressure we really like in this game out of this formation and um, oh, excuse me I'm a little tired but the uh, reason that we like to leave those A gap linebackers is because of the job they'll do for the the quick base okay so like for example a lot of guys like to run the 45 quick base or the buck sweep or those power runs out of shotgun this season because they're pretty effective well what we're going to be doing with this combination with those linebackers stacked in the a gap now when they run that base you see that that's blown up so that's why we like that now it, again if they're under center Say they're in like a I form normal. Well, 
you may consider, obviously I would consider just going right down into my inverted cover two run defense, which we're going to talk about tomorrow. But if you're really wanting to run this base play, then again, you might consider uh, shifting your linebackers to the right to give your formation a little bit more balance. Um, and let's just take a look and see if this blitz signal stops the run. You see that? So you still have a shot at getting the shotgun runs, but in my opinion, I just I really have been liking to leave those linebackers in the middle. But of course, you can do whatever you want. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to touch on this play. I want to show you this setup one more time. Base the line, crash the line down. Quarterback spy uh, the left of screen defensive tackle. Man up the right of screen defensive tackle on the tight end or the slot to the right side. If there isn't one, then place him in a flat zone. Okay? And then purple zone or hook zone, the right of screen defensive end. And then I like to man a line and then base a line again. And you see it's going to rebound those yellow zones for me so that uh, that way they play a little bit better. And then you should see left edge pressure. And you see it. So, anyways, guys, that does it for today's video. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Also, guys, uh, question of the day, what is it that you're struggling with most in Madden? Are you struggling stopping the run? Are you struggling stopping the pass? Are you struggling getting pressure? Are you struggling on offense? Are you struggling passing? Are you struggling running? Are you struggling scoring just in the red zone? What What is your biggest weakness in Madden? And just let me know in the co comments below. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time today. Be sure to check the channel out later on today for more Madden 25 content.